Tina, thank you. After nearly two years, Michelle Brophy Bierman finally is getting some sense of closure after her daughter was senselessly gunned down in a drive by shooting. That shooter, 26 year old Isaiah Pinkerton, found guilty of first degree murder in Maya's death. Tonight, 12 News reporter Matt Paddock sat down one on one with Maya's mother, Michelle, and joins us with their story. Matt. Caleb, Michelle Brophy Bierman tells me the past two years have almost felt like a blur. The pain still all too real. I don't know what I can say except this violence. It's been almost two years since Michelle Brophy Bierman lost her 24 year old daughter Maya in a drive by shooting. I look forward to her being here for me always for us. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Providence police, though, never giving up hope, pursuing any and all information that could lead to an arrest in Maya's murder. Was there any points at all that you ever worried or lost hope? I was very concerned at one point that there would not be, you know, justice. Police making a major break in the case four months after the murder. It wasn't until maybe February that I started to get an indication that there was some hope. Arresting two men in August of last year. One of those men, Isaiah Pinkerton, on trial two weeks ago, convicted on 10 charges, including first degree murder in Maya's death. But the police, I think, did an amazing job. Just what I learned during the trial, I couldn't believe all of the work they did and all the time and all of the hours. While Michelle says she's relieved that Maya's killer will be held accountable, it was everything. It was incredible. She calls it all just bittersweet, pointing to what she calls a much bigger issue going on across the country, violence. I don't know about true closure. I really don't know what that means because there's this huge hole. I don't know how many kids have to die, how many people have to die before we start to look at ourselves and say, what, what is going on here? And a scholarship fund called Maya's Voice has been set up to honor Maya's legacy through the Rhode Island Foundation. The fund is intended to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in the field and to benefit students who have been traditionally underrepresented. Live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News. Tonight, the mother of a young woman killed in a drive-by shooting says she's relieved her daughter's killer was found guilty. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock sat down one on one with Maya Brophy Bierman's mother, Michelle, today to talk about finding justice for her daughter and trying to move on. Matt. Kayla, the pain is still all too real for Michelle Brophy Bierman. The love she has for her daughter on full display. And while she says nothing about this is easy, she's taking things day by day. So I miss I miss her. August 1st, 2021, the day that Michelle Brophy Bierman's world would never be the same. I looked forward to being the mother of the bride, being the grandmother to her children. Thinking about the past, thinking about her as a child, as a young woman, those are really hard memories. But it's those memories, Maya's loving personality, her want for social justice, Maya's voice, that helps brighten the darkest hour of even the darkest days. There's no way to talk about Maya and say what I miss the most. I miss everything. For nearly two years, Providence Police searched for answers, getting a major break in the case in December of 2021. Was there any points at all that you ever worried or lost hope? I was very concerned at one point that there would not be, you know, justice. It wasn't until maybe February that I started to get an indication that there was some hope. Two weeks ago, Michelle getting the justice she was hoping for when Maya's killer was convicted of first degree murder. This was such a relief, just such a relief. And I'm so grateful to the police and to the um, attorney general's office. Michelle calling it all bittersweet. I don't know about true closure. I really don't know what that means because there's this huge hole. I look forward to her being here for me always for us. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Finding some sense of peace in a quote Maya held so near and dear. But know this, the ones that love us never really leave us. Now it's not all over just yet. A second suspect, Sean Mann, is also accused in Maya's murder. He has a status conference on his trial tomorrow. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.